Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you the only 2024 Link & Code 07. Let me mention that this is their first plug-in hybrid season under the Link & Co lineup. So Link & Co is a luxury brand under Geely and Geely, one of the top leading manufacturing company. They own Volvo, Lotus, Jeker, Link & Co. So this is their most luxury plug-in hybrid sedan. It got a design language from Jeker 007 because they both are under the Geely manufacturing company. Let me mention that they haven't upgraded any information, but I talked to the, you know, uh, I have some friends here, so we have talked to them and got some information. So I will share some basic information. So Volvo also got involved and this is their first plug-in hybrid sedan. So let me share the vehicles from the rear. Here we got a full LED tail lights. This is a new design. Look, here we got a spoiler. This is functional and 360 degree camera. There are so many parking sensors. It got 1.5 liter turbo engine. So there are two exhaust and both are functional. So let me open the cargo. It's the hydraulic one. As I mentioned it, it's not officially launched yet, so we don't have any information. Here it will be around 480 liter cargo space. As a sedan, I think it is good enough, but we will exactly tell you the uh, information maybe one week later. And I will come here and check out again. And here we can carry some of the tools. As I mentioned, it's the hydraulic one just phrase here, it will be closed. And if we come to this part, here is your fuel tank. So you can carry around 50 liter of fuel and your fuel cost will be around 5.5 liter per 100 kilometer. This is also not officially announced. So just wait a few more days. Here we got two charging ports. So you can use the slow and fast charger. If you use the slow one, it will take around 8 to 10 hours. But if you use the fast one, then it will take 20 to 25 minutes. And you can get maybe 18.5 kilowatt or 22 kilowatt battery pack. So we have to wait for all the informations. Here we got the Goodyear tire with 19 inch wheels. And your tire size will be 245 by 40 on 19. So you see the whole stuff. They're using the GK brake or the Ling & Co brake because this is a Ling & Co so they are using the Ling & Co brake and also we can get the Berimbo one but you have to add some extra money so let's walk around and share all the information uh, if you want to open the fuel tank you have to do it through the screen these are power door handles let's come to the front so the height of the vehicle 1.4 meter length 4.8 meter and the wheelbase is 2.8 meter, front wheel distance 1.9 meter, rear wheel distance also 1.9 meter. So here we got the full LED daytime light. This will be visible in day and night. Also we got the LED headlight, LED high beam and low beam. And here we got the logo, 360 degree camera. There is a functional grille and they also got some split here at the front. So let's look at from this side here, as I mentioned it, they got the Goodyear tire with 19 inch wheels and your tire size will be 245 by 40 R19. Let me open the engine bay. Also, we don't have any information, but let me share and show you. So here we can use the NFC car. These are the frameless door. See? They are using the Harman Kardon sound speaker, so they have done a great job. They use some high quality materials, no doubt about it. So let me open the engine bay. So here. Oh. It's not open. Okay. So it's the hydraulic one. They haven't mentioned the power output. They haven't mentioned any information. But here we'll get 1.5 liter four cylinder gasoline engine, and you will get around 18 kilowatt or 22 kilowatt 
battery packs and your CLT range for battery CLT range it will be around 182 to 120 kilometer so the power output is not officially announced yet but it will be around 160 kilowatt along with 255 newton meter of torque it got a hybrid transmission DHT transmission so we have to wait we have to wait for a week to get all this information now let me close it so let's go and see the vehicles from this side this is looking amazing we also don't know about the drag coefficient of this vehicle but it will it should be below to 0 0.3 at 0 city so let's go and check out the interior as i mentioned it these are frameless door looks amazing here they have used the harman Kardon sound speakers and this is all the electric seat you can activate your seating seat muscles they have used the napa leather and also it looks great so let me sit inside and close all the windows first look they have done a great job with the aerodynamic performance and with the noise reduction so now i can't hear any noise from outside this is great so look at the interior this is amazing they have done a great job i appreciate jilly appreciate ling and co and appreciate volvo because volvo got also involved with this vehicle and these are all the napa leather here as i mentioned it harman Kardon sound speaker we got the leather string wheels which is power adjustable here we got a hook so you can adjust the string wheels like this way and also we got some switches there are no paddle shifter here we get the auto hood there is 15.5 inch screen and let me show you here we can see the 360 degree camera let's open this part here you see the auto hood you can adjust it also we can select the functions uh, here are the lights so uh, you can also open the light through at this screen and here you get a compartment box these are high quality materials they are no plastic although the price is uh, let me mention that they haven't officially announced anything but the price will be the lowest one 180k chinese yuan which is around 25,000 us dollar and the highest will be uh, around 230k chinese yuan which is around 32 to 35,000 us dollar but we have to wait as i mentioned that this vehicle is not officially launched yet so here if we come to this part we got a wallet charger two s events at the middle and two cup holders we can hit in it like this way here also we got a arm oh we get enough space with the armrest that's cool and if you see at the top so this is your hazard button. We got some lights. You can touch it. It will be open and closed. We get a sunroof. You have to open it uh, through the screen here. There are should be a camera here. Yes, we got a camera at this part. And also got the lights with the mirror. And here is your small screen so you can see the speed of the vehicle and the CLTS range. Also, we can see it through the auto hood. As I mentioned, it's a plug-in hybrid version. It got 1.5 liter turbo four-cylinder gasoline engine uh, with maybe 18 kilowatt or 22 kilowatt battery packs, but we are not sure about that. We have to wait for the official launch. These are not the lactic door. You have to open and close it manually. Let me show you here. Also, we got some space. So let's go and check it out. Second row. You can use the NFC card and here at the second row look at this color combination it's so all electric seat and, and Napa leather they use the Napa there are no Alcantara materials because we have to compare the price right and we get two cup holders with the armrest 
Let me sit inside and share other information. So I got enough leg space, enough head space. I am 186. And also we got Harman Kardon sound speaker at the rear. So that's amazing. And if you see at this part here, we got two AC bands, two USB port, but there are no screens. That's okay. The seats are very sporty. We got a big sunroof. The sunroof through the screen, or you can just command the air system, and it can, uh, it, uh, the air system can help you to open it. Also, we get the lights at this part, so you can touch it; it will be open and closed. So that's pretty well. Because we don't have any other informations right now, we just have to walk around and look at the vehicles, and we have to just guess because the vehicle is not officially launched yet. So, as I mentioned it, it's a flagging hybrid version. Got a 1.5 liter turbo, four cylinder gasoline engine, 18 kilowatt or 22 kilowatt battery packs. We are not sure about that. And your battery cell this range will be around 100 to 120 kilometer. You can carry maybe 45 to 50 liter of fuel, and then you can drive the vehicle uh, it will be around 1200 kilometer because it's a hybrid version so uh, it will cost the full cost is very economical uh, it will cost around five liter per hundred kilometer and they haven't in, uh, updated any information they haven't uh, mentioned the price yet the price will be around 180k chinese yuan to 230k chinese yuan which is around you know uh, 25 to 35,000 US dollar. So right now, that's pretty all. We will wait a few more days, then I will come here and share all the information. Keep supporting me, do subscribe my channel. Until then, bye-bye.